What's up everyone, it's Sam from 64 Wheels, back with more diecasts, and today is Christmas. So Merry Christmas to everyone watching. This video debuted on Christmas morning 2022 because I thought there'd be no better time to show off the last previewed set we've gotten for 2023 so far, the Matchbox Fairy Port playset. And this set is extra cool because it is the first action driver set to be based around the water, which is awesome. So I like that the action drivers, they keep doing new things, whether it's the Volcano, the FedEx, a car wash, or the Fairy Port, it's awesome to see him put new products in the line, especially since we haven't gotten into 2023 yet and we've already gotten three new sets. So um, just to uh, recap, the first set was the FedEx playset right there. The second one was the Super Clean Car Wash, and the third one is the Fairy Port playset. So the Fairy Port playset is probably going to um, retail between $14.99 and $16.99. It is one of the mid-tier playsets. It's the same size as the Matchbox Auto Shop, one of my favorite action driver sets. Um, and so you kind of get the size just based on that. So I like showing the um, comparisons because if you're a collector like me, you want to know how big it is, if it's worth the money. And I think these sets are always worth the money, even the, no matter what the size. So... Um, just for another comparison, this is the same the size as the match or the um, of course that's matchbox the FedEx package center this is the same size as also the Pizza Hut so if you've seen those um, the bus station as well and you can even see um, that is the same size as this so you can see how much bigger it is than the smallest playset which the smallest ones um, hold you know six or seven cars on them so this is going to be a pretty good size so. Let's check out some of the detail on the box. Um, it comes with the 2020 Land Rover Defender 90, an awesome powder blue color. Um, like it says on the box, it comes with the fairy, which is really the keystone, the, the pinnacle piece of this playset. Um, there it comes with like what I guess is equal to the road where you pull up, load it. It has it looks like one of the pressure switches to pull the little uh, dock attendant with the um, gate there. And then it has, says fairy terminal port of matchbox, with that, which I think is pretty cool. There you can see some of the um, details, the movable drawbridge, which is probably, I mean, probably the coolest thing on this playset. The one thing I will say is I was hoping we'd get more sneak peeks for 2023, but it looks like the art only includes the um, super clean car wash, which we've already got, and then this fairy set. All the rest of these, um, the volcano, the police station, um, the canyon adventure, there's the auto shop. Um, the construction site, airport, parking garage, we've gotten all those before, so nothing is new besides those two. So there's what the back of the box looks, box looks like without any of the graphics on front. So um, you can see you can pull up there, let the cars off, and you can also pull in the center, and that's where you actually like load them. So uh, it does look like it has a uh, attached attachable base part just like the rest of the sets which is cool and there's some like little water features and some other things so i'm really excited to get this one open so um without further ado let's get dig into it so um all the action driver sets they have these um, little like tabs on the back of the box for easy opening and if you had a busy christmas you'll know that opening the toys is half the fun and sometimes half the trouble depending on how rough they are to get out of the box so all right let's check out the instructions there is what it comes with, as you can see. There we have the sticker sheet, as always, taped to the inside. Not too bad. I like it that they have that Matchbox um, Drive Your Adventure sign because that was also on, I think it was on the car wash. Yeah, it's on the car wash too. It's right there. Boom. Uh, sticker Inception. Um, so that's cool to see because that is an awesome sticker. I hope they end up putting that on a lot. So a lot of them, I mean, this looks pretty simple overall. These sets are very easy to assemble, uh, very easy to put stickers on, so I'm not surprised that this one looks easy too. So, cool. All right, let's pull out the pieces. So this is an interesting one. This is like almost like the top of the car wash uh, in that like clear bluish plastic that's supposed to look like water. So my guess, this has the base connectivity right here, so this is kind of like the water part of it, which is cool because they didn't have to give us a water part. It's just a little bit extra for your imagination or for like if you're doing dioramas and photos, it can look a little extra because really if you had like a blue poster board or a blue mat or something, you could put this on and it would look like waves and you'd be all set. So let your imagination do it. Whoop. Um, here's another piece of the base that looks like it could be the pressure switch at least because it looks like it has the mechanism right there. Um, let's see some of the details. So it does have some um, lifesavers with some rope. It looks like some dock bumpers, like little buoys so you don't run into the dock. Uh, I think that's it. Let's see. 
It's got some rocks with some more rope. Because I know if you watch my video on um, the Top Gun aircraft carrier, the cool thing about that is on the bottom of it, they had like um, seashells and like mussels and things stuck to the bottom of the boat like would really happen if the boat was in the water for a long time. So I thought that was extra cool. I was hoping to see some of that on this one. So there still could be. We'll, we'll, we'll check it out. So, oh, look at that. I spoke too soon. Look at that little crab. That's awesome. Look at those little pinchers. He's fixing a snap, yeah. At the rope. So there is the little, like, dock attendant. There's the little pressure switch. He comes out and says, hey, gotta pay your money. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's B. Okay, I was like, what is that? That's a weird-looking crab, but, it, of course, it's the um, connectivity on it. Uh, let's see. Okay. So here's the ferry itself. So you do actually have to put it together. It has a left, right. Um, so it'll have pieces on it. And it's cool because both ends open. I'm not going to lie. I haven't really rode any ferries in my life, especially ones that you have to put cars on. So I don't know if that's normal. I assume it is to have it on both ends because then you could like dock and pick up at the same time. And then you wouldn't have to like technically turn the boat around. You could go both ways, um, which is cool because this has wheels on it too little plastic wheels so you can roll it along if you don't want to play like water on carpet you can like roll it around on the table or anything like that um, but it's it's good quality plastic though it feels durable all these uh, all these mac action driver sets are very durable like the plastic feels good it doesn't feel like it's gonna break so there's the ferry at least part of it um I, that's probably the piece of the ferry that actually goes into the side right there um, the base part, which this is very important because this is the only piece it looks like so far that is going to connect. Yeah, it looks like it's the only piece that connects to the other Matchbox playset. So that is an important one to have because that's the road piece that connects to the rest of the action driver sets. So here's another base piece. Um, it's got some rocks, some little fencing. Make sure I don't miss any like little critters or anything like the crab. Nope. Um, this is the bag of the accessories. The cool thing about this, you'll notice um, this type of bag was also in the car wash playset because it is a plastic free bag. It's like um, just stripped paper and it comes out like it's very lightweight and it's uh, environmentally friendly, which is cool because the Matchbox is really whoa, pushing the green initiative, which is which is nice. You always want to keep the keep the earth clean. So here's our just some pieces, another like part of the dock. Uh, let's see what else. Here is the drawbridge. It's got that nice Matchbox logo on it which is very nice that they put the sticker on it because that is a rather large sticker um and that is probably one you could mess up easily because there is a lot of surface area on that and look how nice that is there's no bubbles there's no creasing they did a really nice job on that really good okay let's see if there's anything else pretty simple for the bridge let's see we got the other part of the ferry and there we have the lookout oh that's the actual ferry look how realistic the stickers look i don't know if some of the angles are right but look at that he's keeping the eagle eye out got more guys nice that's pretty cool it looks very realistic i like because it reminds me of the redline hot wheel sets back in the day when they had like the auto shop or the the superchargers that shot the cars through they use pretty realistic looking like garage art and i like to see that coming back in mattel because hot wheels has kind of lost that but it's awesome to see matchbox continuing that legacy of like realistic stickers rather than like cartoony stuff very nice. I, I like that part. Okay, more road. Da, da, da. Nothing really big there. Okay. So, let's see. That is, I think that's like the ramp. Or no, that's the, the top of it, the sign, I think. So let's see what else I got. Okay, there is the another little sign, another arm. Do, do, do. Okay, so you know the deal. Let me put the stickers on all the pieces. Um, that way I don't mess them up and I'll be right back. Okay, got the camera adjusted down to construction level, and the stickers weren't bad. A lot of them, like three of them, were just the little speed bumps. Um, the only, there was a few tough ones um, on this one, and let me see. Um, the only oddity I really found was that they wanted you to put this in the middle of this uh, security booth, but there's no outline or anything, so you have to really, like, kind of eyeball it and I'm kind of like they show it touching the bottom but I wanted to put it more like movie poster style where it's like centered in it so that's kind of up to you um, that sticker wasn't bad and then this one was a little tough just because there there is edging on it but it has such a big uh, surface area with some curvature it, that one was a little tough 
And then what was there? I thought there was one more possibly that was tough. And I think it was this arrow. Um, that was, and when I say tough, I'm talking like on a scale of one to 10, like a three, like it wasn't bad at all or a two. Um, it was just because these have a little bit different shape that it's a, if you start over here, you could, you could mess it up. So just be careful with that. And I also noticed, check this out. There is a duck or a seagull on top of that sign. How cool is that? That is so rad. Matchbox did such a good job with this set. Okay, let's put this thing together and see what it looks like um, assembled. So the first piece is this one. Uh, the sign looks like ooh, goes in here. And these are really easy to assemble because they have the assembly notches right there that go into the different notches. So even if you wanted to put it in backwards, I don't think you physically can, right? Yeah, so it's just, it's one way. I think they call that dummy proof. Whoop, boom, look at that. Okay, so next up we have the actual piece of water, the water feature here. So this one goes, let me see if I'm doing this right. Looks like it goes like this, is that right? Oh, maybe, it is. So it goes just like this. You can even see like where it matches the rocks right there. And it just snaps in very easy, these sets. If you made one, you can make any of them because they're so simple and, and very well put together and thought out. So, okay, so this says, the next step is to put the drawbridge on and it goes like this straight in there like that so i think does that swing around when you push it down oh look at that oh i got an automatic beep, beep. cool all right there is that first piece okay what else do we have okay next up is the little security part of the base and then that is let's see the signage so i want these two yellow pieces i don't know usually the see if they face out a different direction uh -huh. let's see do these have a size da, da, da. oh they do these have notches as well so there you go you can see that corner is notched out and there's a little notch there so i'm gonna put this down so i can snap it in a place just like that do the same thing over here boom mean easy easy okay let's keep this going so then this goes up here snaps in again matchbox very high quality if you've had any of these like in hand you'll know that like the fit is nice and it's solid but if you want to take these apart again you can which is nice so that's if you don't have room for all these or want to set up a certain diorama you can still take them apart later oh uh, okay so then we got the little fencing um this style of the fence goes over here just snaps in this one goes over here snaps in as well and let's see, I think we have one more gate or a swing arm. This one goes right here. Make sure I'm doing everything right. I think that's just a, like a manual one. I don't think there's any pressure switch or anything for that one. They just kind of drive through or open up. Yeah, so not too bad. Let's see okay. All right, I think. Let's see what else we got. Okay. Let me look at that. Okay, I'm reading the instructions. So then we have this part. Looks like they want you to connect right here. Did you? Yes. Snap that in place. Man, look how easy that was. That just snapped in place. Like, it didn't even make a snap noise. It's that nice. Okay. So next up, all right, let's see. So I'm going to turn this around. This is how it's showing here. And then the piece of road, it looks like this piece of road goes on right here should just snap into place as long as i got it lined up snapped in then next up we have this piece which also has the oh let me make sure i can show it to you um right here it has like again this like the water feature part of it it just snaps into place and they are they have like a b c so i mean they're very easy to put together so there is like the the footprint of the place that basically i like the little water that you get to drive over it too okay so then, then it says we can shut the drawbridge. So there's what it looks like. Is it going to shut? Uh, it might be a little warped from the box. Ah, we'll fix that later. Okay. There it goes. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else. Okay, we do have one more of these, and it looks like it goes right here. Right there. Okay. And then lastly... Let me see if I can, I think this right here is where the road goes. 
So it should just snap into place as long as I'm doing it at the right angle. Boom. So that is, let me make sure. So, okay, so it does actually have more. So I was worried about connectability. So this side obviously connects with the other action driver sets, but so does this long side here. So um, you can like just right here like this, you can connect it right there to the car wash. So a lot of connectability with this. It'll be interesting though to see where this fits in um, where when people build the whole sets with all what, like 14, 15 sets we have of these now, where the actual ferry port fits in because it is a water-based one. So it has to be like on the edge. You probably can't have it in the middle of the city or maybe you can if you have like a, a canal or something, whatever you're pretending or whatever your diorama is set up as, that's how you can use it. So um, lastly, we have to put the actual ferry together. Can't forget the ferry, it's the ferry port playset. So, okay. So let me look at this, right, left. This is right, it has an R on it, so it goes in there just like this. It snaps in there, make sure I got it all down. It goes like that, so if you want to get it in its flush, same thing on the other side. So this one, it does have a hole right here, like you a notch together, so I'm gonna kind of put that in there like that, and then snap these down and then probably connect it the rest of the way, right? Uh, come on, did I do it right? Looks like I did. Or is there something else? That, oh, am I missing it? Hang on, let me double check. No, that's right. There it goes. It goes like that. So you do want a gap because that's what the uh, the little like booth here snaps over. So let me make sure I put this going the right way. It shows it's going this way. Just like that. And it's snapped in. That is the fairy. Look at that. Sweet. Okay. Let's kind of, I'm going to, let me see if I can zoom this out just a touch so you can see it better. Okay. Make sure everything. Okay. So all the details, it says this is where you arrive. So this is the front terminal hatch. So how you drive it is it shows it going in this way. So if you're playing with it correctly, how Matchbox is, you pull it up to the little lot here and it has a tab right here. And this has the tab as you can see right there. So it goes in and actually like sits there. So it like kind of won't pull away like that. So then you unload the car and you drive away. Go over the drawbridge, do all that good stuff. And then let me see. Okay, yeah, it says you can lift up the drawbridge and then you can pull it in this way as well. Through the water. I don't know what sounds boats make, like like that tugboat noise, like almost like an air horn, foghorn. And then it pulls up as well and it has a tab in place right there. And then to load it is the sole pressure switch um, on this one. So when you drive across it like this, whoop, the guy comes out and then you drive across and then load your car into the ferry. So the ferry itself, once we have it built, it does have the lines in it. So it will keep the car kind of in place. Um, as you play with it, and if you load multiple ones, obviously you can kind of, oh, I didn't snap that in all the way. Um, you can kind of, I mean, you can probably fit, I think, how many cars does it show on this? Four, at least? So let's see. Let's pack this sucker full. So got that one. Let's get the Corvette. And then it does have it in the center as well. So there you can put the front tires in the um, grid so it doesn't, doesn't fall out. And it has multiple sections. So like this longer, this Ram, um, this is a matchbox, like a premium, really nice truck um, with rubber tires. So then that fits there, right? Can you still close it? Yeah, you can still close it with it. Then that one even fits in the farther back one. You can put the Corvette right there. And let's say the FedEx guy has to make a delivery as well. So then we'll push that one over there. And does it fit? It does. They all fit. So there you can ride your ferry full of cars, full of matchbox, hot wheels, whatever you want to put on it. Very cool. Oh, well, yeah. If you, I mean, if you move it too much, it's going to move, obviously. But I mean, you got to tilt it pretty far. So don't get any choppy water. You want to keep a, a pretty low tide on that one. And then you can just go over the bridge. It has that little like um, hook area right here. So watch when you hit it. Let me see if I can do it. If you can see it right there, it automatically goes down, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I showed that before, but let me do it again. Right there. 
make sure it lined up boop boop and right there and then you can just unload the cars and then the pressure switch well actually you unload it over here you load it here so either but either way you use your imagination play with it how you like but overall um i like it it's a little simpler because it is just a road um, basically just one pressure switch and some road but i like it because it's one that fits in well with the rest of the city it's one we haven't seen before it does have a nice straw bridge, automatic action. It's got that nice water feature out there. And the little duck, come on. The duck and the crab, that's hilarious. Like, I love that. Where does the crab? So the crab ends up being on this side when you put it together. So he's right near the entrance. But that's pretty cool. I mean, it looks good. The depth right there looks really nice on it. It's high quality. Again, the colors are playful, but they're not fake. Like, I can believe that the fairy had... Oh, is that another duck? Did I see that? What is that? It is another duck. I totally missed that. Look at that. That's so cool. And now I'm trying to see, like, I probably missed something else. If I miss something else cool like that, oh my gosh, there's another one right here, another seagull. Oh, sweet. I literally looked at that for like five minutes and I put the sticker on it and I didn't even see it. That is so cool. They're everywhere. So there's one, two, three. Is there another one? Oh, there is another one over here too. Dude, I'm blowing my own mind with these. How cool is that? They're everywhere. That is so awesome. Dude, Matchbox did such a good job with this set. I know that's like stupid, but it's just little details like that that make these sets so, like, stand out so well. That is so funny. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. I love it. I love this set. It's great. Are there any on the, now I'm trying to think if there's any on the boat that I missed. All right, let's take a look at the boat one more time. Or the ferry. So it's got the little radar unit. I don't think there's any any critters on this one. Oh, look at that. That has, um, there's a fire extinguisher, some more detail in there, life jackets, which is important. Some more life preservers. Okay, so no, it doesn't look like any animals, but if I missed any, let me know because there, are, there is a lot of detail that, to this, but that is so cool that they did that. Man, I love Matchbox. Matchbox is, they do such a great job with these. So, but you can see the depth of it. I mean, it's a long play set. It's got a lot of details. Um, and this is one you can play with, like, it definitely doesn't float, so you probably couldn't play with it in, like, the bathtub or the pool, or, like, if you have, like, a water feature diorama, you definitely probably couldn't do that. It's not waterproof or anything like that. Um, the same with the boat, like, it doesn't actually float, because if you look, like, the notches um, in the, like, I guess the chassis of the boat go to the side, and they're not waterproof, so unfortunately, it doesn't float. Could you get it to float? I'm sure you could if you, like, I mean, you could probably even put some like hot glue or something in there to seal up the holes, but I don't know if it's buoyant or not. So it's it's a ground fairy only. Man, I like this. So let me know your thoughts on this. Um, the fairy port playset in the comments. I like it. It's simple. There's not a ton of stuff, but there is a ton of stuff at the same time. So you got this, this, tons of moving parts, all three of these. You got the actual fairy, tons of fun. So now you can like float around and deliver your favorite cars all around your Matchbox Action Driver City. You can even load your FedEx truck and deliver across town or to the airport or wherever you want. This will make a great addition to the city. And then uh, probably early next year in 2023, I'll try to set them all up again with the three extra ones that we've included and kind of do some setups because now we, I mean, it was hard enough to set up the first time. And now we have this one, which is the water feature, which kind of throws a, a little wrench into the situation. But it's great. I like this. I like this a lot. This is probably um, one of the oddball ones, but it, it has a ton of like play action to it. So we've got that cool Land Rover pull up whoop, whoop, and that baby blue looking good. So cool. Well, this is Sam 64 wheels. This has been the Matchbox Fairy Port playset, the new for 2023. I hope you guys had a great Christmas, a good holiday season. I hope Santa or whoever brought you some really good toys, an awesome hopefully some awesome matchbox action driver stuff some hot wheel stuff nice die cast stuff in general and i hope you got to spend time with your family and had a good time in general eat some good food and you know what the holidays is all about so appreciate you watching let me know your thoughts on this in the comments um if you're able to find these and i really appreciate you guys again um sending me links or sneak peeks to this stuff because i try to hunt it down um sometimes i miss it a lot of times i won't see it first sometimes i will but i try to post and then give credit to whoever um sent it to me as well so um also let me know if i miss anything in this one because there are a lot of good details so um enjoy the rest of your christmas and i'll see you guys in the next one thanks guys beep, beep.